Okay, so let's take a look at this example and see how we can find the test statistics um, statistic and the p-value, which is parts B and C in this example. So the easiest way to do this would be to go to your question help and click on stat crunch. So when I click on stat crunch, it opens up with this little window. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller so I can see those numbers um, in our problem. So what you're going to do is go under stat right here at the top menu. And since we are looking at proportion uh, statistics here, because you know, of course, we're trying to find uh, the p-value, we're going under proportion statistics. And since we have two samples, because as you can see, we are talking about sample data, X1, N1, and X2, N2 over here. So that's two different samples. And then we are doing this with summary because we don't actually have the raw data. So we're gonna click on with summary. So under sample one, I'm going to enter my X1 and N1 value. So the number of successes is X1. So this is going to be 28. And you can see that 28 right here. Oops, sorry. Uh, Sorry about that, there we go. Um, so this is where you can see my number of successes is going to be X1. Number of uh, trials is going to be, uh, or outcomes is going to be N1. And then same thing for sample two, number of successes and number of outcomes. So these are the four numbers that I'm going to be entering into my stat crunch. So let's bring this guy back up. So, all right, number of successes for the first sample is 28. Number of observations, sorry, not outcomes is 255. For sample two, number of successes will be 38. And number of observations will be 301. Okay, so for our hypotheses um, tests, we are of course looking at P1 equals P2, so that's gonna be this first option will stay the same. And then as you can see from your answer in part A, um, this one is saying for H1, it's gonna be P1 not equal to P2. So just make sure you have the not equal to select it over here. Since we are not really talking about confidence interval, you do not wanna click on the second option. You wanna leave it under that hypothesis test option and then just hit compute and um, StatCrunch will do all the calculations for you and you know you can compare some of these answers. So if you look at our Z statistics uh, value over here, Z sub zero, you will notice that is negative 0 0.60 and that's actually coming from this number right here. So when you round this number, uh, you know, of course it rounds to negative 0 0.60. So that's your Z stat. And then for the P value, of course, it's gonna be this number at the end. And you can compare that with the correct answer from this example. And you will see that P value is 0 0.550 when you do the rounding um, as per the instructions. Um, so I think using stat crunch is probably gonna be uh, the most straightforward and easiest way to make these um, calculations, you know, without having to do too much uh, work with the formulas that you see in your textbook. So I hope this helped you out. Okay, take care. Good luck.